but I've kept a lot you, of the decisions the same. Are you playing like I'm angry, Jen, or I'm well, going to be nice to everybody, Jen? It's kind of like I don't know if I have patience for you, Kenny, Jen. Oh, yes. Kenny was a jerk in season two. And was a jerk in season one. Yeah, and I was always very patient with him because I've I, like he's oh. useful. Yeah, and I remember like when I ran into him, mm-hmm. like looking back on my gameplay of season one of Walking Dead, mm-hmm. he's like the last person I would want to run into. Yeah. But then when you ran into him in season two, spoiler alert. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Yes, <laughs> it burnt. <laughs> uh, whoopsie. Yeah. Um, I wanted to give him a hug. I was like, come here, yeah. you stinky bearded man. I know. It's just because we're like, everyone's dead. And you're desperate. For I get, exactly. I guess if the world goes to hell, I'll be happy to see you're, anybody that I know. Yeah, your standards go way down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I oh, know for geez. sure the DLC I will buy is the DL. I'll, when I buy Halo 5 Guardians, I'll just buy mm-hmm. the season pass. Cause yeah, I should do that. Ugh. And we've been playing that beta some. The, love that beta oh, if they could just get us matched faster i'd play it a lot more oh uh, yeah they need to figure out multiplayer because uh, uh maggie one of the gtg girls made a great comment and she said bungie the people you know people that originally did halo mm-hmm. mastered multiplayer yeah they in the lobby like, system yeah surely and, they acquired that code when they took the halo franchise exactly it's like Fix it. Yeah. Well, I guess, you know, it's a new it's a new generation of consoles. It's all different. It's not the same. You can't just copy paste. I know, but But yeah, they can't... gotta get that fixed. And then if it's, it's not gonna be fixed, awesome. I will be furious. Like that's what's that's what scares me to buy the season pass. Because if they don't fix it They will. They will not release it like it is. Okay. But just I'll... the gameplay though, once you get in your game, it's awesome. Yes. Like, my face was hurting, yeah. I was smiling so much and Yeah. Oh. It's everything I wanted in a new Halo, besides not being able to be matched. Yes. And All the time. they need to turn down the brightness of the sword. We cannot see. I don't Great know. I kind of like it. I like hearing people complain. I can't see. I can't see because I'm carrying this huge sword. Yeah. Uh, three for three Studios needs to knock the brightness of the sword down. It's just the glow effect that's so bright because it like whitens out the rest of the it's yeah, bright. it's a great disadvantage, though, with the people with the sword. Let them be blind. I guess. I just never pick up the sword because I don't want to get my migraine. Yeah, me going. neither. I don't I don't ever touch it, so it's like, mm. <laughs> So then last year, both of us fell victim to the hype train several times. Yes. Um, what <sighs> do you predict will be, like, the biggest hype train fail of the year? Okay, I said Quantum Break earlier, uh-huh. but I'm, I'm not. That's like super borderline. I'm gonna say the Division, which we didn't talk about earlier. Oh yeah, Tom Clancy's Division. I'm really excited about open world shooter, right? Uh, ish. It's yeah. a weird. It's a they're mix. saying open like, world. Yeah, it's a mix. My only fear is that I have. Some what's the game that I got in trouble for? Oh, Watch Dogs. Watch I dogs. feel Watch Dog elements in that, and I'm scared of that. I agree. So I think it's going to be it's a between fail. the division, uh-huh. and I think a lot of people are going to disagree, but evolve. Yep. Well, okay. So my two. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid of Fable Legends. I'm, I'm mm. really excited for it, but I'm really scared about it. Yeah, and you were scared about it the first thing from E3. Yeah, I've been scared about it for a long time. I'm afraid. I mean, I understand it's not the actual fable, you know. That's why they're calling it Legends. And then my other one was Evolve. I, I think it's. I we've think been the both train is, saying about you. I think yeah, yeah. that hype train is going to crash when Evolve hits. I know. I think I you're going to have people that are like good. all playing it for like three weeks. And like they're just love it, it's awesome. And then yeah. bam, it's gonna be dead in the water. Yeah, I think it, it's gonna be just like Titanfall. It's the best game. It's so awesome. Everybody yeah. has to have it. And then it's just gonna drop, just like Titanfall. Just like, wait, at least the people we know on our friends list don't play Titanfall anymore. Hardly anyone ever plays it. Even though I never, like, I never even have the bug to play Titanfall. So. I don't either. I really need to. I, you know, I, oh. 
of Berlin. So all mm-hmm. these these games we've been talking about that we're super excited about coming out this year. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of them were supposed to be out this year, I I believe. Yeah. And they got held back. Yeah. Or they got, you know. So what game, if you had to pick one, would you think was going to be pushed to 2016? Without a doubt, I think the game that will get delayed mm-hmm. is Star Wars Battlefront. I agree. Yeah. I think they're going to I think they're going to show up at E3 mm-hmm. and not show a whole lot maybe just a, maybe a little bit of gameplay. Mhm. And probably just more people talking about the game they're making. Yeah. And then it's going to be pushed back. But they, here's, I think it'll be something like, "Yeah, we want to do a great job and like, you know, and then but yeah. we have to move it." My only fear is that it won't be fully ready, but because of the Star Wars movie being released this year, They'll rush it, and then that will be a disaster if they ruin the game. I can see that happening too. That they're gonna, uh, but marketing wise, and you know, the higher ups they don't always get things, and I could see it being pushed. hmm. So let's, yeah, let's think positive thoughts for Star Wars Battlefront. (laughs) (laughs) So we we've been talking about E three off and on. Is there like a certain game or something? Not even a game, but this. You know, add-ons maybe to the Xbox ones that you that you would love to hear announced at this year's E3, who, or me? even just like this. Yeah, this oh, year. Who else are you gonna ask? Who? <laughs> no, my uh, cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, you mean like just out of the blue, anything I want to hear about? Yeah, anything video um, game related that you'd like to hear this year. Um, uh, I can go first. How about you that? You go first. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so I want to hear their plans for the new Gears of War or are they just going to like revamp the old ones and re-release those and then announce Gears of War 4 coming 2017 or something. I I could see that they could announce Gears of War for 2016 because they haven't been talking about a new really, you know what I mean? They've been talking because they said that they were going to um, first they said that they were going to like piss off current fans oh yeah they have to abandon what they normally did in for gears to move forward basically so i just want to know if that's still true what they're planning what they're planning on doing what the heck that even means right is it going first person shooter maybe that would be weird because right now you're over the top right when you play gears person yeah it's like you're behind them or first person i mean yeah yeah is it going first person shooter interesting so, i think that could be cool if they go away from third person i think they'll really lose a lot of fans i oh, i just think I, they I agree but i would be i would be one of those people that would be more curious to play it now if it went first person yeah versus third person hmm. interesting so and that and Viva Pinata. I'm ready some for some more pinatas in my life. Really? Oh, that makes me yes, happy. Yes, that's because of you. Aww. And I want to hear more games coming out that are specifically built for the new systems, for the Xbox One and the PS4 only. Like I think them trying to go back and remaster, you know, also everything. include 360 oh. and PS3. Yeah, just like is that hurting? You think like where they could be going? I do feel like it's holding them back because they're trying to make a game that works on both systems and it could be holding back the power of the new consoles. Yeah, the cost, the budget probably just to like be like, we also have to yeah, include these other consoles. But So that's what I want to hear is mm, just more games that are p- built specifically for the new consoles. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to hear. Um, and are we, do we get a new Call of Duty every year? Um, or is it every other? I forget. I think it's. Oh, it there's three year? studios, and I don't yeah. know if they're on three year plans, so that each studio Oops. releases. Because yeah, I can't remember. I would be if there is a new Call of Duty in the works. I don't want to hear about it because uh, I'm sure uh, we'll hear something about some Call of Duty at E3. This one multiplayer events warfare just isn't grabbing my attention. Nope. So, I don't know. I don't really have... I don't know what I really want to hear from E3. I just want to hear some good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're we're almost finished up this episode, but how about we name 
top three or top five games. Okay. That we're hoping for or that we're looking forward to. Okay, what's yours? Okay, so Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Halo yeah. Five. Mm-hmm. Cuphead. Life is strange. And I need one more. Oh, one, more. one, two, three, four. Look through hmm. the list. What do we talk about? I'm thinking I want to go with a, I'm thinking the room three for my phone. Wow. That's crazy. I'm going to throw in a mobile there because I, I love the room. The number one top game I'm excited for, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Then Halo yeah. 5. Then I'm putting these in order. Rise of the Tomb Raider, Halo 5, Battleborn. And then I'm thinking the division. It's open world. Oh, uh, you're... It has a little RPG and a little cooperative multiplayer. Yeah, but that's the one you were you're yeah. worried though. Also, that's the I'm also, dog. Yeah. I am worried, but I am really excited to play it. And then Dying Light. But mm, gosh, it's gonna be an expensive year. Oh, I know. Last year was too. And the problem is we bought all these games and we still have not finished most of the ones we've already bought. Nope. Oh, maybe man. that should have been my New Year's resolution. Finish the games that I already bought on for the Xbox one. That would probably be a smart one to do, Zen. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, you should know that I don't always choose a smart thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> One thing Zen and I both have learned that we make rash decisions and that we should always wait and think about things before we At do them. Sleep about, sleep on it, and then yeah. drink your coffee in the morning, play a few video games, and then make a decision. Yes. <laughs> but we will have like all the information on our website. So just go to girltrackgaming.com slash podcast. Just click the episode and we'll have all these trailers. And uh, we would love you to make comments in the uh, show notes there below and tell us what you're thinking about these trailers. And what games that we didn't talk about oh, yeah. that you're looking forward to because let me know where how much money I need to be saving. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are the so end. many games we didn't even touch. Like, No, I'm I probably would... like even 5% I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, I, I spent hours re- reading over new games and things like that, and I could not touch all of it. There's just so nope. much. And I'm sure there's ones we've never even heard of. Nope. It's good. Yeah, good year good. to be a gamer. Life yep. is good. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that wraps up this show. And thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure to leave us a review or a comment on iTunes. And you can follow myself on Twitter at Z McLeod. That's Z M A C. L E O D. And you can follow Jen on Twitter at Moto Girl. That's M O T O underscore G R R L. And you can check out our website, like I said before, at girltribegaming.com. And uh, we hope you follow us on Twitter at Girl Tribe Gaming, all one word. Thanks for listening. See ya. Bye. Bye.